ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video with bitcoin daily i am jay and today we are talking about some more bitcoin we're doing some more bitcoin analysis today we're uh, gonna take a, a look at what happened over the weekend um hopefully you guys watched our video friday friday we pointed out a bull flag pattern that did take off and we did cash in on um hopefully you guys were able to grab that um today is a beautiful monday afternoon it is october 26 2020 and we're going to give you our top trade setups for this week so um before we get into that please make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to our channel we're up over 1800 subs we're trying to get to 2000 before the end of next month i guess so definitely before the end of the year um, so we're trying to get over 2,000 subs. So I'm going to give you guys a second to go ahead down here, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Go ahead. I'm going to give you guys a second. All right. So now that you guys have done that, let's jump right in, yo. So um, let me take my face out the way. Boom. Move my face way over there. All right, so let's take a look here at what is going on today. As you guys can see, the crypt the crypto market cap is at 389 billion today, down 1% over the last 24 hours. Um, Bitcoin is currently trading at 12,962, um, pretty much flat on the day. It's down 0.31% over the last seven days, though it is up 10%. That is huge, guys. Look at that. Um, Ethereum is trading at 389. It is down four and a half percent today. Um, XRP is at 24 cents, down 2.3 percent today. Bitcoin Cash <clears throat> down five percent. Uh, Chainlink down four and a half, 4.7 percent. <clears throat> Binance Code uh, Coin, I said code. Um, up 2%, polka dot up 6%. So polka, polka dot is rising again. Um, Litecoin down 5% after that big run up. As you can see, it is up 16% in the last seven days. Um, Bitcoin SV making an appearance down 6%. All right, so let's jump right into the charts, guys. Um, we're going to start off with uh what day is today okay we're gonna start off with the uh weekly candle here so this is what the weekly candle looks like here um this it's this big green one looks beautiful um last week was amazing um even on the weekend we had some great price action as you guys can see here on this candle uh, the low of the candle uh, of last week was 11,417. The high was 13,377. Um, and uh, we opened at 11,500 last week and we closed at 13,038. So that that is a gain of 13.3% last week, guys. That is huge, 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 huge for um, for Bitcoin. Uh, so let's go ahead and zoom in a bit here. As you guys can see, I pointed out this um, this trend right here. I, I made some uh, fib levels. Uh, we still have this ascending trend right here, ascending support trend that I can see us ba bouncing back down to. Um, so let's go ahead and zoom in to the daily and see what is going on all right so let me zoom in to clear it up, clear it up a bit so on friday right we spoke about this right here we spoke about um this bullish triangle bullish flag bull flag um and we were talking about how this green area was the buy area um and a break above this flag um, was a breakout buy so all right so um so that was the buy the buy area was down here for support buy or it was up here for the breakout buy as you guys can see we did break out um and we went all the way up to about 13,400 almost a little bit under 
the high was 377 so we basically got there and now we've kind of been rejected back down so as you guys can see here we got rejected all the way back to the support entry that we liked right here as a buy area right so right around that that 12,800 right under it um, that's where we liked entries for support entries um, so that actually did trigger today if anyone had any entries there that, that should have triggered for you um, and it's already up basically over basically around a hundred dollars from that low um, which the low was 12776 so a bit above a hundred dollars since since that low um, let's go ahead and zoom in a bit more so we can we can see what's going on on the shorter term now the four hour mark so on the four hour mark you can see here exactly how everything went I think when we did our video on Friday we were around this area and we spoke about a break above this meant buy so as you can see right here this is where we bought and we were able to take profits along the way at 13,200 and all the way up to 13,400 um, and then this it got immediately rejected back down to the support as you guys can see this descending type of support here that that came from these um, and it but it looks like the price has been respecting that these these numbers and the support here um, and then there's also this one right here so um, this is remember we told you guys a lot of support here in this area um, and it we can see how that price there's a lot of price action here and how every time it's touched this it's just rocketed back up so we're we're you know trying to get back up over 13 uh, 13 has proven to be a very strong resistance here um, so this is an area where we're gonna need some sort of probably some sort of news or something we because we need a lot of a lot more volume to, to break out of this and continue up I do believe we're definitely gonna do it just a matter of time so um, what we're seeing right now we're trading within this range from this green range all the way to the top of this Fibonacci level um, so basically if we're looking for entries here the, the support entry we're looking for is in this green box so that's basically between 12,700 up to 12,800 um, we're looking for entries here as a support entry and uh, if we're looking for breakout entries we're basically looking at 13,000 since it's the biggest number there the biggest whole number but however when you're trading that 13,000 mark you have to you have to have a very tight stop because you're gonna keep it's it's look how many times it's crossed 13,000 up and down so you have to be ready to to get stopped out or to take profits because you're likely it's likely gonna spike up and then back down and up and down and up and down and up and down and you don't want to really get uh, stopped out you know you don't want to take 10, 10 trades and get stopped out every every single time you know what I mean um, however you do need to be in a trade in order to make some money when it does jump up like this one right here like it did today um, so what what I'm suggesting is use a higher breakout than the, the just a flat 13,000 so um, I'm looking at an entry probably above 13,050 is where I would want to take that entry um, and then you're, you're looking at about a $50 stop um, or tighter so you want to I want to keep a tight stop on this so my stops gonna be fifty dollars or tighter um, and um, I'm looking to take profits at around 150 the 160 range here 150 I'm gonna do 150 and 200 and then you know wherever up here is uh, let's see 320 it looks like it is up here so one 150 uh, 200 and 320 then I'm keeping the rest I'll leave the last 25% of my position in case it continues up and I'll take profits once it gets up to these ranges um, and then if there's then my next trade would be if there's a breakout above this Fibonacci which is 13,400 
I'm taking a new brand new entry above 13,400. So those are the three entries I have for you guys on Bitcoin, the three setups I'm looking for um, in this box, right? That's a support entry. Um, then you have the entry above 13,050 and then uh, you have the entry above 13,400. So those are three different trade setups that I am looking for. I'm sorry if I keep scratching my nose. Um, the cat was in my room and I'm super allergic to cats. So now I have a stuffy nose. Uh, so I apologize about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Bitcoin. Um, those are the setups I'm looking for this week in the short term. One other thing I wanted to point it out. I did point it out. Um, in my uh, VIP group, I pointed this out. Um, and on Instagram, I pointed this out as well. Um, as you guys can see here, let's um, use this. As you guys can see here, this is going up. And then as you guys can see here, this was going down. So I believe this definitely had something to do with this move down. Um, remember when there's a bearish diversion, like there, like we're seeing right here. Um, that means that the price is, is kind of exhausted. Um, it's tired. Um, the, it's losing momentum, even though the, there's a high, there's a lower high and a higher high here, right? And then there's a higher high and a lower high in the momentum so the price is going up but the momentum is going down you know what i mean so when when price is going up and momentum is going down that means that we're, we're gonna see a pullback so i believe this is part of this pullback here that we're seeing is because of this bearish diversion here on the rsi um momentum you know we're losing steam right now us uh, buyers are losing steam so we have to keep an eye on this um it might pull back back down here uh like it already did today uh so you have to keep a close eye on this you know uh, in case it does continue down and if we break the support then we're looking back down at this support over here or uh the support over here at twelve thousand. so uh this is something that we're definitely keeping an eye on right now um we don't want to you know um get caught in that so that's why I keep saying especially if you're using um, this support use a pretty tight stop and in any 13,000 entries you got to use tight stops as well you don't want to have wide stops right now you rather stop out with minimal minimal losses um, and try to catch those breakouts um, but you got to be when you got to be in it to win it but you got to minimize your risk all right so keep your positions you know between two to three percent risk um your as far as your position size on those trades um so yeah so that's basically the main thing that we're looking at uh i'll go over as as i usually do on these other trades but like i always tell you guys bitcoin is the main thing that we're looking at everything else is going to follow bitcoin um for now you know so uh so ethereum we did see ethereum break 400 and come all the way up here and it got rejected at that 420 uh as we mentioned before that 420 is a resistance uh we came back down broke under that 400 uh and went back down to almost 380 so this 380 area is a great buy area right there um i that's definitely an area i recommend i recommend for you to buy if you're looking for a support entry um that's a support entry we like so our support that is our support entry I'm trying to find the, the rectangle geez um so this 380 area we really like this area so we're going to highlight it here for you guys basically 380 385 um this is a great area here if you guys can catch an entry there definitely do it have your stops under that 380 mark right let's uh where are we so we will have our stops under that 380 mark the next area where you would want to buy is a breakout above 400 if it breaks 400 this is another buy area 
um, your targets are basically 410 and 420 and then you're you're buying back above 420 so there are two entries for ethereum um, Bitcoin cash as you guys can see here it's gone up and it's kind of doing a Ronald McDonald sign it just needs to go up one more time to give you that full M um, but right now it's currently sitting at 258 it went down almost to 250 so that 250 area is the support entry I'd be looking for that 250 um, for a breakout you're probably looking at something above 260 uh, 264 I don't really like any of those levels so 250 and then two above 275 are the two areas the two trade setups I'm looking for either the support entry or that breakout entry on top um, for Litecoin Litecoin we finally saw we got some movement here look at that that is a beauty finally after it being pretty much flat for all this time look at this like it really didn't move much this was just a varies from September basically to you know for over a month it's it's just been almost two months just kind of flat um, we finally got some movement I told you guys last week I wanted uh, I was buying above $50 that was your breakout entry hopefully you guys caught that because as you guys can see it broke 50 look what happened once it broke it and shot up to the moon um, so that was a successful trade we had there if you guys took it congrats that should have been some easy profits for you uh, right now we will probably be looking for this support entry right here which is at $55 range um, and for a breakout trade it will be above 60 so we're looking for $55 for support entry $60 for a breakout entry um, on Litecoin um, XRP so on XRP, we, uh, we also saw some life, but we've seen it basically drop down almost right back to where it started last week. So it's it's pretty flat overall just because it dropped back down so much, right? Um, so here we're kind of looking for that 24 50, 24 cents 50 um, range, for which is kind of close to it right now. That would be the support I'm looking to enter at or at 24 cents flat. Um, and then the, that breakout area, you're probably, you would be looking above 25 cents here for that breakout. So I would probably just wait to, for it to get above 25 and buy, buy it with the momentum going up, then try to buy when it's going down right here. Um, chain link, as you guys can see here. So remember we told you guys the price where I want to buy is $10, right? When it was down here, we told you guys above $10 buy the breakout broke out went all the way up here to almost 12 then started going back down and then we told you guys I will buy again at $10 as you guys can see here hit 10 and it took off again to $13 so that is if you bought at $10 and you sold that 13 that's a 30% profit guys so congrats on anyone who took these trades uh, including this one if you bought this breakout and sold at uh, 11 something, or was it almost, this, this is about an 18% profit. Um, this one was 30% was profit. So congrats to those who took those trades. Um, right now where I'm looking, 11.50 would be one support and then the next support would be $11 flat. Um, this obviously the safest one would be $10, but I don't know if it's gonna go all the way back to 10. Um, and then if you're looking for breakouts, breakout entries here, probably you have to wait for it to go above 13. Um, you could try this $12 mark. So that, that would be the first breakout entry above 12. Second breakout entry would be above 13. So those would be the, the trade setups I'm looking for in Chainlink. Um, Tezos basically moved up and then just shot right back down. Just got rejected really nothing's been going on with Tezos um, it's just ever since this right here ever since it dropped back down it's just been you know kind of slowly bouncing around um, the trade entries here is two dollars or and above 225 so that's a breakout and this is support so those are the two entries I'd be looking for um, Neo let's take a look here at Neo 
So Neo is currently at that support, that $17 support. It did go under it though, so you got to be a little careful. Um, $16.50 looks like it's another support. So between $16.50 to $17 um, is, a, is a pretty good support to buy on right now. Um, so above 17, I'd be taking a trade there if I was looking for one on Neo. Um, above 18 would be another trade. That's a, a breakout trade. And above, and I wouldn't do I wouldn't do 19 because 20 is too close, and that's the next uh, resistance. So I'd be looking for something above 20 um, for Neo. Those would be the trade setups I'm looking for. The RSI is getting to the oversold territory. But that also means that momentum is really down. Um, so it could be a good buy here with the RSI oversold, but just keep a tight stop because you don't want to get caught in a sell off there. Um, let's see, this just has been flat. Not even going to look at that. Um, Bitcoin over here is actually in the futures market, it's trading, it's still trading over 13,000 which is uh, good, pretty good. You see here, it's been pretty flat um, for the day in the Bitcoin futures market. You guys can see here where I told you guys to buy. Um, and th these are also the gaps here. So, um, and the last one I'm looking at is Cardano. Cardano still hasn't really done much. It's stuck in this range and it's actually falling below this range. So the next support here is a 750 Satoshi's area. Um, and if I'm looking for a breakout, I am basically looking above 860 it looks like right here. Um, and yeah, that, that would be the, the only breakout right there at the moment. Um, so either 750 for the support entry or 860 for the breakout entry. Those are basically, and you could probably use 800 as well as for a breakout entry. If we could bounce back above 800, that's definitely a breakout right there that you can enter. Um, and this is also oversold over here. So those are the trade setups for that. Um, and that's basically it, guys. Those are the trade setups I'm looking at this week. Um, basically, I have those keeping my eye on. I have alerts set up on them. I'm paying attention to what's going on here. We will do another update later on this week. Um, but that's pretty much it for these. Um, we'll be we'll do another update, you know, depending what the market does. If there's a lot of movement, we'll do another market analysis update uh, midweek. If not, we'll do, you know, whatever else we come up with at the time. <laughs> that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys made profits on the trade setups from last week. Um, we're giving these out for free guys as as you guys know uh so pay attention man because you could you could you could have already made money in the last like a month if you were taking these trade setups um but guess what if you miss those trades today is a new day today is monday and we're putting out this top trade setups for the week that we're watching and you have another chance to make some money if you follow these so like I told you guys in the beginning, please guys subscribe, hit that notification bell. That helps us a ton and like the video. One last thing we, we are doing again, the questions of the week. So let me bring up that questions of the week post. Um, it should be here somewhere, right? Boom. Questions of the week. We are back. All right. So question of the day not of the week. Um, every video will have a random question about something in the video. The question will always be in a random area of the video. Find the question and find the answer. Post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month, free month membership to our trading room. Winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 30 likes. Guys, 30 likes have been a challenge for us. I don't know why. 30 likes isn't that many. We're going we're getting over 100 views on these videos, over 200 views on some of them, over 300 views on some of them. So we just need 30 likes out of those those 1 2 or 300 views. Um that shouldn't be that hard, guys. So let's get those those 30 likes and then we're going to give away a free membership, a free 1 month membership to our trading room. It's a $70 value. So let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. Question of the week is and I didn't write it down, so I'm going to come up with it right now. 
Um, the question of the week is, I'm going to tell you right now, what, the question of the week is, guys, what is, what are the three trade setups that we gave you for Bitcoin? We gave you three different entries. What are the three entries we gave you guys for Bitcoin? That is it, guys. Drop your answer in the comments. And let's get it. Let's get this video to 30 likes so I can choose a winner. All right, guys. Let's get it. Let's do it. As always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace and love.